welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey! So in this video today, I'm going to be sharing how you can create your own abstract art for your home. Super affordable, very fun to do, so let's get started. Okay, so to start this project off, I'm going to be using the canvases from the Dollar Tree. So the 8x10 size, I believe that was the 6x10 for the medium, and then a 5x7 for the smaller sized canvas. All right, so for our first little abstract art drawing, I'm going to be doing line art. So there's tons of different things that you can draw when doing this line art. I just decided to do the face because I like how the faces look, but you can do flowers, you can do trees, you can do animals, anything, you name it. If you can draw it, you can do it. So I'm gonna be using my pen to draw out my face. I would definitely recommend drawing out your picture using a pencil but all I had in front of me was a pen so that is what I'm doing to draw out my face and you literally just draw out a face um, if you need inspiration or anything like that you can definitely find a ton of pictures on Pinterest um, to look at to get an idea of how you want your face or if you want more than one face or anything like that so just take your time when creating your face and if you mess up again make sure you're using a pencil you'll be able to erase it and fix whatever you don't like once you finish creating your design you can either darken it up a little bit by using a pen or you can use a sharpie to just go over top of it to bold your lines so me I decided to use this faux suede rope that I picked up from Hobby Lobby a while back. Um, I believe it was in the jewelry section and I am going to add that to the top of my drawing. So when I attach this, you can do it f flat, which if you did it flat, it would be like a horizontal type look. Um, but you would have to like cut more because this is a little thick thicker of a rope so instead of doing that I just decided to do this vertically so it would be a smaller line than if it was horizontal and it would be that flat thicker line so I'm going to carefully attach this to my canvas using my hot glue and I'm also going to be using my box cutter to remove any of the excess glue that might seep through the sides when I'm attaching the rope so going back to this rope, I got mine from Hobby Lobby. They have tons of different colors and sizes that you can choose from. They also have like the round rope um, if you don't like this flat faux leathered look of rope. Literally they have a huge selection. It is in the jewelry section there. I'm pretty sure you can get this from like Michaels as well, Walmart or anything like that that sells these. You can probably buy it in bulk or something like that off of Amazon so just be on the lookout but I literally got this from Hobby Lobby and used my coupon I don't remember how much it cost but I'm pretty sure it was inexpensive because it was just like one black rope that I needed to use for another DIY project that I was working on so once you start to attach a rope to your piece it just starts to become very relaxing and fun just tracing over what you drew in certain areas you may have to cut the rope so to do that I used my box cutter again as well to do that and for any of these smaller um, details like the eyelashes and the eyes and stuff like that all I did was I took my scissors and I just cut the pieces down to the sizes that I needed and I glued them on there using my hot glue So for the next two canvases, I am going to be using paint to create my abstract art. So I got some apple barrel paint that you can get from Walmart for like 50 cents or whatever type of paint that you have on hand, you can use for your canvas. So after I've picked out my colors that I wanna use on my canvases, now it's time to paint. So with abstract art, this is the most fun art to do because it is not a real depiction of reality and it is all based on you, your thought and what you want to put out onto your art by using different shapes and forms and colors and like gestural things to achieve this look. So abstract art is one of my favorite things because you don't have to feel like you are this top star artist um, when you are creating something. Just go with the flow, with what you feel, and just have fun with 
drawing and painting whatever you want on your canvases so for my prints I'm gonna do like a simple minimalist kind of um, boho styled abstract art uh, drawing on them and again like I said just have fun you know using your colors whatever design you want to place on there it's very relaxing it's not supposed to be stressful and then you're gonna have some cool art that you created to put up in your home if you want larger canvases or anything like that you can definitely get the larger ones from either michael's hobby lobby ac Moore, any of those craft stores that you have around i don't know if walmart sells canvases but you can definitely buy canvases in bulk as well on amazon or you can go to ross i know for facts that they have i know for facts i know for a fact um that ross has um, canvases in bulk that you can purchase from their store and you might can try TJ Maxx but nonetheless if you go to any craft store you're destined to find different sized canvases that you can use so the next step that I'm gonna do to bring my paintings up a notch is add a wood frame you guys know I love to use wood and wood frames are my favorite so I'm gonna be using this one by two board and I am going to be attaching this around my canvas so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I always just line up my wood to the side and then I just mark where I need to cut if you're a person that likes to use measurements you can definitely just use like a ruler or measuring tape or anything like that and take your measurement and then cut your wood so once I get my measurements for the sides and the top I'm just going to be going back and forth to my miter saw creating these cuts so I'm gonna be doing very basic cuts which are the cross cuts so if you want to do the angle cuts you can definitely do the angle cuts and add your sides together it's up to you but I'm gonna do this really simply and do those cross cuts to attach them together for my top and my bottom pieces the next step after I've made all of my cuts is now to sand smooth my pieces so I'm gonna sand smooth the tops the sides and kind of round them out a little bit so that they can fit together nicely after I sand my pieces, the next step is of course staining. So the stain that I'm going to use is dark walnut and I am going to be staining all of my frames that color and then I'm going to let them dry. And you can seal these with a polyurethane or a polyacrylic. So after my wood has dried, now I'm going to attach all my pieces together. So I'm going to be using my uh, portable nail gun to do this. But if you don't have a nail gun, you can use wood screws if you'd like. Or you can also just use the regular wood glue to attach these together around your canvas. So once you get all your wood attached together to create your frame, another thing that you can do is you can add sawtooth hangers to the back so that you'll be able to hang these up in your home. So I love how these all came together. First of all, this was super, super easy to do. It's not stressful at all because you are just making abstract art. So it's all up to you how you want this to look and feel. These are perfect for hanging them up in your home or they are fine to have them as like standalone plaque pieces as well in your house. I love, love, love how simple it was to create these. And I think you guys will have so much fun creating your own and you can make them go with any decor style or anything like that that you have. So I really hope that you liked this video. It gave you some inspiration. If it did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.